Our next presenter is Linda Nelson from eScience Labs. Linda has over 20 years of experience in the higher education space, working for companies like Pearson and McGraw-Hill, and covering course offerings from the sciences, arts, and business courses. She's now working for Science Interactive Group and focused on bringing authentic lab experience to distance learners. Linda, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome to begin your presentation now. Okay, thank you for having me. I'll uh, go ahead and dig right in. So certainly sticking to the, the time um, schedule. The biggest difference between our products and some others that you might see is it does give your students the opportunity to have a, a lab experience at home where they will be working, whether it's with chemicals, dissections, and things of that nature. So without further ado, let me go on. I assume I'll just share my screen. Yes, you're uh, welcome to. Okay. So let me get to where I need to be. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is dig into our standard biology kit. We have a lots of different offerings, but for the sake of this presentation, let me just give you an idea of what it looks like. So for instance, here is a, a list of labs, and again, I'll dig in. We do have the opportunity to customize your lab kit. Typically, when I'm dealing with faculty, the first thing I ask is for the list of labs that they're currently using. Then we have PhDs that are on our staff, and they will match your labs with our offerings. We may pull from a biology kit, a GOB kit, environmental science, to create a lab kit that's specific for you and your students. But for the sake of this presentation, let me show you the way that the labs are presented. When we're looking at this list of pods, you could see here a lab number. This is lab nine. This is cellular respiration. It gives you some information like, there's two experiments within this lab and the amount of time it's going to take to complete this lab. When we see things like 24 hours or two days, obviously there's gonna be some wait time or some time that the students are, are waiting to see something grow or whatnot. Over here on the left is some knowledge checks. This is some bite-sized chunks of information. We hope your students go and view it, but a lot of times they just wanna to get to the meat of the experiment. And that's gonna be down here in the assignments and procedures. Once you click into that assignment and procedures, now we're gonna open up and see those experiments. When you open an experiment, the first thing this tells you is your student needs to go to their lab kit, which is a box that's mailed to them, and retrieve items. Anything in this gray is gonna be items in their kit. Anything in the red would be items they'd be expected to have access to in their kitchen and, and whatnot. So again, you can see what's needed, the materials, the lab wear. Now we're getting down into protocols. Of course, you guys are the subject matter expert with that. From time to time, you'll see a key technique. For sake of time, I'm not gonna click on it. It's just a short video clip that tells them maybe how to, um, line up their pipettes or any sort of um, calibrate their digital scale, things of that nature. So again, continue on through the protocols, continue through that. Then we get down here to a data sheet. So the way that your students would actually access their labs is through your LMS system. Your students don't go to esciencelabs.com they will access this through your LMS system. So in, let's say when we were looking at this intro biology, we did your alignment and it comes back and you're only gonna use labs one through seven. I would then give you seven links 
you're going to upload those into your LMS system. You'll create a Dropbox and then your students would upload that data sheet and you will have to, or lab assistants, will have to visually look at the information that they fill out. Of course, we have standard resources, test banks that can be imported into your LMS system. You can create a post lab or um, a, a, a test or quiz after the lab assignment. We have case studies, but um, again, the way that they're going to access that is through your LMS system. Okay. Um, let me point out, because it was brought up um, on in my conversations with your colleague about this webinar. Here on our home page, you can find information on our ADA compliancy, and we um, have our VPAT information there. Four of our course offerings are Quality Matter Certified, Anatomy, Physiology, Microbiology, Biology, and Environmental Science. When you look at our product offerings, you can see those that are offered here. We have uh, students that can purchase their kits directly from us. We also know the importance of working with your bookstore. So certainly we can provide either a bulk kit to your bookstore or these days they're purchasing access codes and distributing that way to your students. And that is that as it relates to the product and the delivery of the product. If it's uh, appropriate with the group, I'll be more than happy to um, take questions at this time. 